day folks just recently I met up uh, had new friends and uh, I did not know what was their occupation till last week last two weeks ago now I've made this video and I saved it on my phone and now I have to retake on making this video which is a bit weird I don't want to do making videos while I'm lying on the bed like you guys are thinking I'm lazy or something um so basically they're working as a uber eats and um you know they tell me like how you know the stories from you know being an uber eat so now one of my friends is a bike rider the other one is a moped or scooter a petrol scooter and you know they're telling me like uh you know within five six seven hours they can make a hundred fifty dollars cat you know money to their bank account and, you know, I asked some couple of questions about this whole Uber Eats thing. Now, before I begin talking about the topic, I think you have to understand, like, why people choose to use Uber Eats. You see, we go to restaurants, we pay for the chef, the environment, the waitress, and, you know, everything, to get our experience. Now... If you look back in the past, king or emperors or dynasty, whatever you name them, they don't go to restaurants. They have chefs serve right in front of them, you know, serve proper food. Now we have this luxurious lifestyle where you could do Uber Eats. You order with the tip of your finger, order, 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 and it delivers to your door. Any food that as long that is Uber Eats or other other Eats friendly um, company and get in and get done. Now some of the stuff that question me a lot, you know, like do you really need to go to co you know, there's Uber Eats for Coles. Coles is like one of the biggest supermarket chains in Australia. And um, you know, having Uber Eats from them delivered, you know, I'm just there, I'm like I there's a reason why there is uh, Coles delivery, you know, instead of using Uber Eats. But I guess, you know, those who are wanting to party at late night or midnight or something, you know, I don't know. I don't know why people are ordering this sort of stuff. But, you know, having Uber Eats, you know, you have the luxurious chefs that cook. And now you've got the Uber Eats deliver right in front of your doorsteps. To be honest with you, I don't know... You know, it's, there's certain foods that I ask my question myself, is it necessary to, you know, order that sort of stuff? For example, fried. Once you put it in a container or store it in the back of the backpack, it's going to turn soggy. Or perhaps, you know, you have all these food and it's gone soggy or perhaps it's overcooked or just, or, you know, it's not the taste that you wanted. Like, trust me, I don't want my fish and chips arrived. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> or, you know, or just, just you know, maybe the bread's been soaked with water or the juices or I don't know. I'm just, I'm just naming something. Like, I don't understand why people. Anywho, stop my blabbing. It's already three minutes in. Let's talk about what my mates talk about. So my mates talk about, like, you know, this Uber app. Uh, you know, the Uber Eats, it's so addicted. It can be, it's like a new addiction for many uh, those of people. Well, my mates who does this sort of uh, work in the very, very uh, upper class or middle class or high class areas, uh, we we'll talk about Hawthorne or Glen Ferry or, you know, around that, this area zone. They do talk about like what, you know, and I asked the question of uh, what type of people who, uh, you know, regular, regular uh, um, buyers. And they told me one is Asian. That kind of makes sense. Chinese or Asian kind of makes sense uh those who are wanting to have something different and do not have time buying someone's time to deliver to your house and another one is uh, party functions or those who have for example maybe sporting night or parties and they're just too lazy to go out where they wanted to spend time with each other these are the two of the large majority of the uh, uh demograph they've been telling me in the rich area now I do ask him, like, uh, what is the crazy stories that they have? And they did tell me, like, you know, um, apparently Uber Eats, uh, they or whatever brand it is out there, they do give out free uh, 
Uh, sometimes they give you like free vouchers or free like uh, you know deliveries as long as within five minutes and I asked them like you know what is the most craziest one ever so basically the most craziest one they ever had was um, basically the customer wanted them to uh, pick up the order from the Maccas or in, Australia, in America you guys call it America, uh, McDonald's and you know and when he checked his mobile app he realized the customer is locating the same place where he is so obviously he contacted you know Uber Eats head office blah 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 making sure it's everything's all right the moment he reached and grabbed the food order that's already been cooked and ready served it was a gentleman sitting right in front of Maccas, raising his hand up high and saying that it's him. So literally he wait on the queue and give the food for this fella. And, you know, many of these guys have been telling me, like, you know, uh, these workers have been telling me, like, those who are often use this sort of service, are, you know, during lunchtime is usually corporates or those who has money. And in a day, they... They do orders repeatedly. It kind of makes sense in the corporate world or business. You know, you can do big order. Yeah, it's all right. Extra 20 bucks or 15 bucks, you know, for delivery. That kind of makes sense. You know, I can see where it's coming from. But for the fact that, you know, you know, I've been, you know, they've been telling me like they have orders such as like delivered like one bottle of soft drink, like a two liter. And they're too lazy to go and grab it. And, you know, they spend extra, you know, the money, whatever it is. They have that sort of stories, you know, like a, a, a bottle of a soft drink, you know, just to be delivered. But, you know, like stuff like coffee, they often do, you know, you know, morning runs or afternoon runs, they often do coffee as well. And I was like, how does that work? Like, I don't want to drink my coffee. It's like shaking everywhere it's been in, in the bloody your little delivery bag. So what they told me is like, oh, you know, these uh, these coffee shops, they sticky tape the hole and everything. So a little jiggle around everything. And I'm just down like, I don't understand why people are wanting to do Uber Eats just for coffee. Like, come on. But apparently, you know, rich and, you know, people who live in that sort of area, they don't care. So that's about it, and uh, they give me a bit of heads up what's going to happen in Australia, Uber Eats next year, I believe it's uh, August 31st. Until it's uh, August 31st, all the international driver license or foreign driver license uh, not eligible is a deadline uh, for, for doing Uber Eats. So it's only those who are having, you know, Australia driver license to do it. So maybe it's time for us local to step up and do this whole thing. And also, I'm just there I'm questioning, like, this whole thing is a new new trend, is booming, it's everyone's addicted, and now advertisement are flooded on our screens. Will you order something? Obviously, I will order if it's like a party or a function or something like that, but I wouldn't do it just for, you know. Like I said, man, all of us have cars in Australia, so... I don't quite understand the whole purpose, but I guess people nowadays, time is very important.